The fighters which have been labeled by critics as a mere copy of the US F-5s were unveiled as the newest contender in the arena of aerial combat last year. The first fighter jet to be developed in the country, Koser is a labeled as a fourth-generation fighter aircraft, which has been designed and manufactured by Tehran-based Iran Aviation Industries Organization IAIO. The fighter jets which are designed to upgrade and strengthen Tehran's aerial defense capabilities will now replace Iran's aging air fleet, most of which consist of fighters imported from the US and Russia. Officially unveiled by Iran in 2018, the Kosers have been deployed by the Iranian Army and Air Force. Designed to perform close air support cause, and light attack operations, the fighters can also be used to support the training activities of fighter pilots. After years of instability in Iran's defense sector due to economic sanctions imposed by the United States following the Iranian Revolution in 1979, the development of the fighter jets is seen as a ray of light in the field of defense aviation. According to the National Interest, a Washington-based international affairs magazine, the fighters represent a major step for Iran to boost its aerospace industry. Koser Jets Iran This isn't to say we will see an actual Iranian stealth fighter anytime soon, but if Iran can make their own engines, their own fuselages, and their own computer systems, it's only a matter of time until they field something that we will have to be worried about. Primarily based on the aging design of the US F-5 Tiger aircraft, the Koser boasts of an optimized airframe design to provide superior performance by reducing the drag caused by harsh winds. Poised for air-to-air -air combat, the light attack aircraft has a state-of-the-art cockpit equipped with an advanced flight deck and avionics suite, which are integrated with next-generation radar technology and hydraulically actuated flight controls. The fighter jet also comes with multiple hard points under the fuselage section and wings that can be armed with a range of weapon systems to enhance its firepower. The jets are equipped with two J-90 turbofan engines, which have a maximum rated thrust of 5,000 pounds each, capable of attaining a maximum speed of 1,500 km per hour. The fighters can travel to a maximum distance of 2,200 km without the need of any mid-air supplies. They can also reach higher altitudes faster, with a higher climbing rate of 7,620 meters minute. However, despite Iran's attempts to integrate newer avionics and radar systems within the sturdy airframe of the F-5s, the new aircraft has been labeled a means of deception. The United States Department of State's communication team had tweeted it seems that regime officials are not sufficiently familiar with the development of the aviation industry. Their plane is very similar to a fighter jet produced by the United States decades ago, and Iran has an old fleet of these planes. Deception is their favorite means. Justin Bronk, an aerial combat expert at the Royal United Services Institute, hints that the Koser aircraft is not the reboot of the US F-5, but a new system of avionics packed inside the F-5 as a placeholder. He also says that the Koser is not a fighter aircraft at all, but a jet trainer and a light attack plane which could come to the rescue of the Iranian Air Force, which still uses US-made F-14s and F-4s, the airframes of which had already been abandoned in America. The Iranian Air Force is an interesting mix said Bronk, while speaking to the Business Insider. There, Iran, unquestionably extremely good at making use of older equipment against endless predictions. added Bronk. However, Bronk while lauding Iran's attempts to produce amid economical problems and US embargoes. Given the state of their economy and the embargoes, that is pretty impressive, said Bronk. Concluding the analysis, Iran's Koser jets are no F-35s or F-22 Raptors, but are lethal enough to create hassles for the invading forces. Iran has used its air force sparingly. In contrast, the IRGC and its aerospace engineers led by Amir Hajizadeh have actually pioneered precision guidance for missiles and drones. 
This is a major threat, and it is where Iran has sought to do asymmetric warfare, building capabilities that can go around its enemies. For instance, Iran used ballistic missiles to attack U.S. forces in Iraq in January. It has attacked ISIS and Kurdish dissidents. Tehran has transferred ballistic missiles to Iraq and precision-guided munitions to Hezbollah. It is in this IRGC-based technology that the Islamic Republic excels. The end of an arms embargo would give Iran access to more sophisticated weaponry 